My name is Doug Lyon, also known as Lionheart, Dragon Lionheart, and this is my attempt to question the notion of protest. What is protest? What has it been and what could it be? To those who can hear me I say, do not despair. The misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed. The bitterness of men will fear the way of human progress. The hate of men will pass and dictators die. And the power they took from the people will return to the people. The bankers are the problem. The bankers manufacture recessions and depressions to exert a greater control over social and political structures. The bankers create and finance the wars on both sides of the conflicts. The bankers orchestrate famine, poverty and want. The international banker is the scum of the earth. And they have to be brought to account. I want to somehow combine a political sensibility of I don't agree with the state of Western capitalism and the lack of democratic process going on and I'd like to see that change and I also don't feel like I want to be out on the street striking or protesting in that way. So here is my contribution. This is what it's going to be. It's going to be a video, a series of videos, something that explores a discourse of looking forwards, of positive thinking, of coming from my heart about it. And the truth of it is, I want to change the world. And I have no idea how to do that or whether this project at this moment in time is a good idea or a bad idea or a ridiculous idea or something that's going to get me into I feel like it's going to get me into trouble, actually, to be honest, because to say that I don't agree with that old school type of protesting is pretty contentious, and I know a lot of people who'd be offended by that. It doesn't resonate with me, and I want to do something as well. It's not that I don't care, I just don't want to care in that way. So in the same way that in The Secret film, they quote Mother Teresa saying, if you invite me to an anti-war rally, I'm not interested. And if you invite me to a pro-peace rally, then I'll come. Because putting anti-energy into anything you're against just reinforces it. So what does protesting say about you as a person? I think it, hopefully it says that I uh, will stand up for what I believe in and will express that in a public forum. I went out on the 30th of November on the pension strike and asked some people what they thought about protesting, why they protested, what it says about them to be a protester. And the answers that I received made me feel like this project was very flawed and that I really should be listening to what they say and that maybe I'm apathetic, maybe I'm lazy, uh, maybe I don't know. My problem and what underlies this whole research project, this practice-based dissertation, is that I feel that the old school way of protesting, to go out on the street with banners and show a force in that way, or show a united front in that way. Part of me feels like it's had its day. I can't say that that's how I felt when I was out on the strike doing the interviews. I felt like it was a really important thing to do. And I'm being honest, it doesn't feel like it's what I want to do. It's not the kind of protest I want to make. And part of the reason for that is that I feel that when I listen to most of what people say in a protest, it seems to be about blaming somebody or fixating on what's been wrong in the past. That's a very broad generalisation, I know, and that is not a mode that I want to operate on. What does protesting say about you as a person? I think it says that I'm willing to work with other people to make the world a better place.
We are anonymous. In just a little over a week, Occupy initiatives have sprung up in over 30 U.S. cities. This is now bigger than you, or me. It is about us, a collective 99% that will no longer stand for the corruption, greed, and inequality that is rampant within our governing bodies. Spread this message like the plague. So what are we doing here? So what are we doing here? Let me tell you a wonderful old joke from communist times. A guy was sent from East Germany to work in Siberia. He knew his mail will be read by censors. So he told his friends, let's establish a code. If a letter you will get from me is written with uh, blue ink, it is true what I say. It is true what I say. If it is written in red ink, it is false. It is false. After a month, his friends get a first letter. Everything is in blue. Everything is in blue. It says this letter. It says this letter. Everything is wonderful here. Stores are full of, do of good food. Movie theaters show good films from the West. The only thing you cannot buy. The only thing you cannot buy. Is red ink. <laughs> this is how we live. We have all the freedoms we want. We have all the freedoms we want. But what we are missing is red ink. But what we are missing is red ink. The language to articulate our non-freedom. The way we are taught to speak about freedom. War on terror and so on. War on terror and so on. Falsifies freedom. And this is what you are doing here. You are giving all of us red ink. You are giving all of us so what does protesting mean about you as a person to be involved in a protest? Oh, I always like a good protest. But why though? What, what does it mean to protest? I think it's really important that people actually get out on the streets. A lot of people think that by signing a petition or by liking a Facebook page, they're actually protesting. And I think it's really important for people actually to go out on the streets. Like, what I'm interested in is whether, like the anonymous broadcast yeah. at the moment, if you've looked at those, is a, is a much more virtual way of, of protesting. Yeah. And I guess, you know, if they could do half the things they were saying they could do around hacking, it would be quite impressive as well. Yeah, no, I think that's good. It's, it's another prong, really, to it. It's just that not, yeah. ev not everyone can necessarily do that. So what does it say about you as a person to protest then? I think it shows uh, compassion for your uh, fellow people to be part of a community that cares about other people and it's particularly today is about care, about care. I'm binning the whole anonymous pastiche thing because it's shit and naff and I hate myself for even attempting it. It's rubbish, so I'm not doing it anymore. It's going to be me sat in a garden, just being me now. I hate myself too for thinking that it could be so easy to take on the whole world. And I think I'm very arrogant to think that I could see something bigger, better, bigger picture than all of the amazing great speakers that I've got in this video. I can't really believe that I think I might know something more than these speakers and I don't really like myself for feeling like that really, I think it's just really arrogant and silly. So that's how I'm feeling today.